What's good everybody, Nathan Producer Beats. Welcome back to another video. I hope you are doing well and you are thriving in all your endeavors. Uh, today we're gonna be making a beat for Khalid. It's gonna be kind of like a summery type pop vibe. Super, super fun to make. So thank you guys so much for all the support and all the comments. Um, if I take a little bit of time to respond, I've just been getting flooded lately, but I do respond to pretty much everybody. So thank you for bearing with me. Let's get to work. Very, very clean scale. I love that one. So I'm going to go ahead and stop here. And um, let's go ahead and just drag this into the toy keyboard. Um, it's another plugin by Sample Science. Um, so I'm going to go in here and see if there's something dope I can get. Let's try this guy. I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the key of this. I think I'm going to go up to. All right, so let's go ahead and add a strum to this, Alt S. This is beautiful, man. Like, I don't even want to, I don't even want to mess with it at all. Like, I just love it the way it is. to the labs there's the there's a guitar in here that i used i think in the don tolerable tolerable beat um not too long ago um i think it was a moon it's pretty dope yeah this one so we're gonna put this on the second mixer track Let's turn it up try to spank up yeah i'll put up just a little bit nice we're gonna turn the volume up here just a little bit not bad. All right. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna take these low notes out. We're not gonna need them. subtle pan on this so we're gonna go presets uh left to right shy and then we're gonna turn this mix down a little bit so it just sits nicely just a subtle pan all right so we're doing pretty well i'm still not really sure where i'm going with this but that's okay we're just having a good old time let's go ahead and bring in cassette roads um this was very fantastic in the last video so let's just copy this one, paste it in. We're going to solo it out. It's too low, so we're going to change the octave control up. And give me a second. I'm going to turn these ghost notes off. Um, they kind of throw me off. So let's turn those off. There we go. All right, so it's a little bit low. So let's highlight everything in uh, Alt-X. And um, let's bring everything up just a little bit. I'm gonna get back up in here and um, turn the volume, the reverb up a little bit. Mm. I love that. All right, we're gonna turn this rate up. We're gonna make it soft. We're gonna go ahead and continue with our layering here. Um, let's just go into good old expand. This might do it. Be a little generous. Check some off the top.
turn up in the rack a little bit. All right, we're gonna hit R, we're gonna turn it on. We're gonna go down, let's go eights. All right, and we're just gonna go ahead and copy this, paste it in. Six mixer track, solo it out for now. All right, so let's go ahead and quantitize it. All Q. And then we're gonna go ahead and space them out a little bit, so. Control down. All right, so this one, we gotta do some sound selection. It's not fitting, so let's try something else. Ooh. So we're gonna go ahead and change the key on this. I think I'm gonna hop into Warped and see if I can find something cool and warped. Woo, right there. one of these uh, little percussion loops here. Um, I think that'd be kind of tight. I'm gonna put it on the 95th to 95 so I can match it. And then we're gonna do some of our own work to it. So I think that'll sound kind of cool. This is hard. This is using like a lot of Afro beat. Right, let's go ahead and add it to the 10th mixer track and we're gonna do a little bit of work on that. Uh, some decay and then we'll go delay three. This is so hard. Let's go ahead and bring the bass. We're gonna use Nexus for our bass line. All right, so we're gonna do a couple things here. Um, this arcade kind of like loop that I threw in here is not fitting right. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and change that one. Much better. Oh! 
Ooh. Just need to add a little bit more bite onto our Nexus base. So we're gonna go ahead and just do an alternate base for this and it's gonna be super simple. We're just gonna clone this, copy, paste it in, and then we're gonna control up and that's just gonna give us our higher bass notes that we'll use throughout the arrangement. Let's go ahead and talk about this arrangement here. We started off in the intro with the cassette roads, as you can see here. Then we brought in one of the expand arps. And then for the noise scape this time, I want to go ahead and show you guys this. I found something actually pretty cool um, in expand. So in ambiance and effects, I chose the ocean preset and it was like a nice noise scape. And then I used a little bit of a forest kind of sounding background, which is super random from one of my kits to give it a kind of cool sound. We led into the first verse um, with one of the arcade uh, guitar riffs and then just a random riser. And we switched to the toy keyboard for the entirety of the verse here. So let me zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better. Took out one of the kicks here. We did a quick cut um, just to break it up a bit, but then it played throughout and then hi-hats and then the rim. And then we brought in the bass a little bit late. Arcade guitar riff took us right into the further pieces of the verse here. So I did a quick drop off as well. Um, and the only thing I left in was the that rim slash snare just to give it some more, um, just to dramatize it just a little bit more. So let me scroll over for you guys here. Continuing on in the verse here, as you can see, we have the toy keyboard and then one of the labs layers going. Um, teased in some of the Nexus here, a bass, and then a little bit more here as well. And then we have hi-hats all the way through, kicks all the way through. And then we did some cuts with the rim shots just to make it more interesting. Um, and then we brought in uh, the arcade loops here and then that little drum loop of that random drum loop that I found in a pack. Um, and then at the end of this part of the verse here, just let it right in uh, with the arcade guitar riff. And we are at the end of our verse. So toy keyboard, labs as well. A slight switch up with the uh, expand uh, arps, very subtle. And then we have our Nexus bass splashed in the middle. Hi-hats, kicks came in late, rim came in late. And then at the end of the verse, we just dropped off all of our percussion. And then we had the toy keyboards, cassette roads, expand arp, and then the arcade guitar riff led us right into the hook. Let me scroll over for you guys again here. And we also borrowed the noise capes and the risers from the intro as well. So from there, as you can see, we have our hook, very simple. We have all of our elements. I'm gonna take you to the, through the differences here. Dropped off a little bit of the arcade loop there. And for the rest here, everything else played out in full. And then as you can see here, same thing with those interesting little vocal chops. And then the only difference we have on the bottom is our first sub bass. We did an, an initial drop just to give it some more drama. The only difference on the bottom here, we have the higher bass note, had a quick drop in the beginning just to give it some more drama. And then it switched up to the lower bass notes, um, which took us throughout. So from there, all we did, we were literally just copied the first half, pasted it into the second half, and then we put the intro into the outro. And then you can always make the verses as long as or as short as you want. You can do two or three, there's no rules. So let's go ahead and listen to the beat. Thank you. 